Hi guys, this is Enel and we are back playing Hot Nut at Final 4. We are back playing EU4 at using Rise of Men DLC preview version. Alright, as you can see, Moscow is already at it, eating uh, away at Novograd. Golden Horde, on the other hand, uh, uh, went against Nogai and those guys are killing Georgia. Let's get back to our killing though, we almost got ourselves a Marienburg, so that means we'll be able to take Danzig. Um, now, uh, we'll probably need to do siege up a bit more, so uh, on top of what we are taking, uh, I think we'll just take Danzig uh, to be sure, that, as I mentioned, taking it away from uh, Pomeranians would be a pain in the ass and taking anything else would uh, result in a massive coalition. I don't really care about Newmark. Uh, mm, so we want war reparations because of course they attacked us. And uh, I guess uh, all of the money. So that's 69. It shouldn't take long really. Uh, let's try if we start working on those. Uh, let's start working on those. Do they even have any... anything of import left? I doubt it. Uh, yeah, let's grab the rest and we'll make sure that uh, we take those two as well. Mm. Okay, they are not aggressive just yet. Uh, so I don't want to loot Danzig, nor Tushal, not Kulm, but I wouldn't mind uh, looting this one, so let's park ourselves here. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to loot this one as well. How far off are we? Probably once one of those uh, falls will be good to go. We worked really without having to, to stitch through everything to, uh, you know, take into account. Oh, okay, that's not good. Oh, never mind. That's a good, good one. Uh, there was a, a really bad one out of those. As you can see, I haven't played a lot. I uh, uh, like 50 hours, but uh, like this month, as I mentioned, but uh, beyond that, uh, last time I actually played U4, probably uh, 18 months ago or so. Mm. Well, Siege of Duty, of course. I will try to speed through towards the spawn of well, creation and invention of Renaissance. See how that goes. Mm. Okay, so we suck that pretty quickly. Let's get it here. And you guys can go grab uh, one of those. Alright, uh, what were the... okay, so we've done like this. Uh, sure, you can also go and go siege stuff, I guess. And this should be... Uh, this is empty. Let's throw you there just to, well, to take it all, but also to get ourselves a little bit of uh, security by, uh, by uh, having units that will support us in the... Uh, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, that was close. Alright, and uh, we got a trade. Uh, so our leader uh, got inspirational leader trade, which uh, recover, allows him to recover army morale, but by 10% faster. Jesus. I've been really talking a lot, and I really hate the fact that uh, I wasted exactly an hour of recording, and that was a much better episode, I think, than the one you've seen, the, the first one, because uh, uh, well, in the first one that you've seen, I uh, had to uh, basically repeat my, uh, myself, and uh, I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention some 
important stuff. Uh, huh, almost there. Okay, so that should be it. Huh, hmm. Can we... Uh, I, could we give that to... Uh, Lithuania? Uh, I believe we... Eat, uh, well, as well, let's give it all. And now if we were to sue them for peace... Mm. Who would care? Well, I'm afraid that so all of okay. If we were to take it all, yeah, it's so uh, all affects hundreds and thirteen nations. I wish they bloody told me who. Mm. And yeah, that's not gonna fly. I I'm taking like uh, in that. Okay, maybe just let him again. Oh, right, let's let's risk it. Hmm. Uh, and more reparations? Why not? Uh, and all the money. We'll get some. Uh, um, what is it? Uh, some inflation that I think will be good. Oh, actually, that's not enough, is it? Okay, less money then. Come on. Okay, well, that's enough, I'd say. And uh, now we can deal with that as soon as our Guy returns. All right. Uh, we have to, however, remember that uh, we won't be able to form a Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth if they will have more than forty. Uh, if they will have more than forty cities or so forty provinces, I will have to to count how many they have. And not nearly forty, but we can't uh, feed them too much. Well, that won't work. And. Uh, do we want to, to finish sieging? I don't think so. Okay, let's grab our units from here home. And... Hmm, yeah. We will have a coalition, but... Uh, yeah, not nearly as powerful, so it's, uh, it wasn't far, uh, far enough for them to not care. Uh, I think we'll still take it. It's just the coalition of what? Livonian Order, Teutons, Riga, Lubeck, Mecklenburg, and Pomer. Huh. Okay, let's uh, let's just risk it. It shouldn't be that bad, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, mm -mm. Well, it won't make it. Uh, let's, let's leave them uh, as they are, say. And they should be uh, fairly... Yes, the, as you can see, 90% left. That means in the next war we can annex them. Eh, uh, vassalize them. Alright. Uh, Conquer hell no. Spurring victory, we get manpower recovery speed and really prestige for the years. Very nice. Uh, we don't want the royal marriage with Mazovia. Uh, what we want, however, is to cut our military spending. As our inflation uh, barely moved, and we'll deal with that easily enough. Uh, now, uh, this is a Polish culture problem, so. Uh, mm, let's, let's actually see. Uh, I think we'll save up uh, on uh, Coring and use that uh, fancy new interface here. Uh, 
to give, uh, give uh, to Grand Province. Um, no. Those two, however, we will uh, we will call ourselves. There we go. Uh, we do not have a mission. Um, it wants us to improve our relation uh, with Brandenburg, solidify PayPal relations. Hmm. I'm empowered to recover. Uh, lowers national unrest and national tax modifier for 10 years. Oh, we actually really had uh, got out of manpower. I haven't even noticed. Thankfully, we will be picking up a few uh, bonuses to 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 national manpower pool, and well, once we integrate, uh, that should help as well. Uh, that will take too long. Uh, I was Brandenburg, uh, yeah, at least one hundred. Uh. Yeah, let's unpause it and see if they want to change, yeah. Uh, they are not ro longer, we are not over longer a rival here. Uh, of two turns, I believe we can, or should even, uh, revoke embargo, because that will be costing us. All oh, right. I guess it's it doesn't when we have a uh, when we have a truce. Uh, we need to pick another rival, though. As you can see, which is very nice. Our uh, power projection jumped to seventy-one uh, using that, and our uh, we actually advanced in the great powers by uh, one. Um, getting ahead of France, so that's uh, additional to manpower, and um, not manpower, uh, power projection, but the rest of bonuses doesn't really change, as you can see here. Uh, rival. I guess it's time to, to, to play with Ottomans uh, a little bit. Moscovy, not just, not yet, I think. Hmm. Uh, they're just guaranteed. It would be nice to actually conquer Wallachia for Moldova. We'll think about it later. Uh, hmm. It's ba either Moscovy or Ottomans. Uh, we would rather not go to war with either. Uh, let's, let's take Moscovy. We'll probably end up fighting them earlier. Uh, Alright, and costly embargoes, of course. Uh, revoke. And uh, another thing that we can... Uh, uh, we get more benefits from uh, embargoing Moscow uh, due to them, uh, them being in a Novogrod node than from embargoing Ottomans. Uh, now... Since we got access here, we could, uh, all right, we can move our uh, trading port province, uh, trading uh, capital to Gdansk just yet because, uh, well, no port province. Uh, corruption is growing due to overextension, as you can see. So, giving uh, giving up the, those provinces would uh, make it a bit cheaper. And probably should have, to be honest. Mm. Let's check cultures. Uh, Alright, we were supposed to get... Uh, uh, get this accepted. Let's do that. Uh, this will remove uh, unrest, uh, plus two unrest for unaccepted culture. So might as well. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, truces and disputed succession. Ah. Oh. All right, but he's a new new king, so doesn't really matter, does it? Succession war between Palatinate and Hungary. Yeah, and yeah, it, it's good to check once in a while, but uh, for now there are no old uh, monarchs without. Uh, 
Uh, Alright, so that being said, we would want that uh, royal marriage now. Here we go. Ludmilla is our new queen cons. Okay, so now we can check queens. Mm. I'm not sure what is the effect beyond uh, her uh, being possibly a, a ruler. Actually, never, never really gotten that far. <laughs> In this regard. Oh. All right, well, well, we'll look at that, but well, at least we see what who our queen is. Uh, we will want to build marketplace in uh, both Krakow and Gdańsk, but that's not just yet. Uh, actually, why would? Yeah, I'm confused. Why can't we? Mm, I'm pretty sure we have diplomatic claim already for, don't we? No, actually we don't, never mind. Not sure why it's uh, allowed me, instead, while not allowing uh, either a charge or a workshop that also require uh, four, 4 and 6 respectively. Um, competent cousin. Oh, we got prestige, very nice. It's, uh, yeah, let's go speed 5 for a bit. Maybe I have out of this uh, setup, so we shouldn't be losing anything of the import. Soon we should be able to, to uh, tech up. Okay, well, so we had a queen for a while. Uh, truce expired. Okay, Alright, so... Since the 14th century, the wealthy and powerful in the Italian city-states have been patronizing arts and scholars willing to explore the old Roman and Greek societies of their forefathers. As a cultural movement, the Renaissance already encompasses most of the region and has had a profound impact on literature, art, philosophy and music. Many scholars are also analyzing the society in which they live, comparing it to the ideals of the classical philosophers. At the turn of uh, 1450, the Renaissance uh, humanist has grown uh, into a more mature movement, ready to uh, permeate uh, all aspects of society. A new ideal uh, for rulers, as well as uh, those who uh, are ruled, is spreading as quickly and as uh, as uh, as quickly as the early printers can distribute copies of uh, the new ideas. A uh, true Renaissance uh, humanist uh, is an expert on everything from politics and philosophy to art, uh, textual analysis, music and architecture. The Renaissance in, uh, is now ready to shape the world to better fit the, its classical ideals. Alright, so as you can see, uh, uh, countries that have not yet fully embraced the Renaissance institution will receive the, an increased technology cost penalty 1% per year for up to 50%. Let's see where it's found. Uh, so there is uh, uh, this whole thing, but it looks kind of silly. Oh, oh, damn it. It's spawned in Napoli. In my test game, it's spawned in Ferrara. Which made it uh, spread a bit quicker. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, okay, if we now uh, you can, uh, it's basically a province-based uh, modifier. Mm, so it's fully embraced in Mena in uh, Neapoli, and it's working its way up in uh, neighboring provinces. Uh, if we look, uh, so here, for example, uh, it's a. Uh, there is a nearby friendly province uh, that has renaissance, that is Napoli. And by friendly, it's a province with someone you have uh, at least plus one relations with. Let me check that. There is an adjacent province with renaissance, so that's basically stacks. Uh, and there is a big development. And that's about it. And all right, and it's, uh, it's Italy. Uh, there will be uh, more bonuses uh, Will be in, uh, will start in uh, uh, 1500s. All the uh, each of the institutions has different ways of spreading. 
so this is uh, actually just for the Renaissance. All right, so uh, oh. okay, improvements production technology. So uh, yeah, so we can take more inflation. Let's see if we have a. We don't really have a way of fighting inflation, so mm, don't think it's worth it, uh, is it though? Let me recall. What's uh... oh, actually <laughs> that? Seventy-five for reduction of uh, uh, of two oh, as well, really. Oh, let's take it. We'll probably get a Master of Mint uh, sooner rather than later. Now, uh, we can uh, take up. And since uh, we are taking up, not sure if that was uh, earlier, I think it's, it's a new thing, but uh, basically uh, we are three years before the next uh, tech is due. And that means that for the three years we will be enjoying all those things, yearly corruption and a pretty hefty bonus to production efficiency, which is nice. Uh, let's look back at our... Ah, oh, right. We're supposed to get the bloody... I forgot about that. Uh... Hmm. We are supposed to take uh, lose uh, 20 loyalty, but we are at 60. Uh, to take this, uh, another 150 administrative power. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. If we were to now to do that now, that would cost us a few months. Or, well, or about a year, I think, of uh, uh, negative, of bonus, or of, uh, penalties instead of the bonus. So minus 30% national tax modifier, um, basically. Stability cost modifier and yearly pipe or influence. Uh, but still, I think we'll take it. And... Yeah, let's do it. How long till it rises? Uh, 16 months, okay, we can leave with it. Mm. Now, uh, we should invest in some charges uh, to increase taxation. We, uh, let's start with those two. All right, uh, hmm. do we want to actually go and get some claims? Uh, I think not really. We don't want to, we don't really want to expand towards Hungary. I mean, we could defeat Moldavia some, but I think we need to uh, fast forward our way through uh, all this aggressive expansion we got it, and uh, then uh, finish off the Teutons. Uh, so let's see, incorporate Mazovia. Uh, we c won't be able to incorporate them for another four years, so that's kind of pointless. And we will simply solidify PayPal relations, I think. Mm, PayPal C, uh, and we'll just improve relations here. Uh, we can stop improving with them, however. Uh, can we? Fabricate claims, we can, so might as well. Maybe we will want to, to actually take something. Um, there is a chance that we'll get a mission uh, called the Remind Knights of their duty that would uh, give us a vassalization casus belly against them. But it's, uh, it's not certain, that's for sure.
Oh, and we can uh, send an insult to them to boost by 5 our uh, power projection, because why not? Mm. Another hundred. It will take a while for those to, to, to pay off, but you might as well start. Specializing as well. We are uh, now suffering penalties due to our uh, slowpoke with estates. Plane fabricated, our agent, uh, agent discovered, that's okay. Uh, Let's actually just, uh, yeah, let's actually, um, who do we want to improve relations? Let's improve relations with Bohemia. Actually, let's improve relations with Brandenburg, why not? Moscovy and North Poland is a new level. Oh, and our Air Vladislav is now an architectural visionary. Why is that person built? Because not bad at all. Uh, oh, but we uh, he is an, a foreign heir. That's the thing that happens when you are uh, elective monarchy. If we take a look at here, there are points. And... Uh, uh, governments can basically influence, uh, spend uh, diplomats to influence us to get uh, points towards the... Towards the uh, ruler. Uh, doesn't really matter unless our uh, we can uh, invest our own uh, prestige to boost the chances of our own air, uh, but he's not that, uh, all that good, so that's, you know that it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, there may be some problems later, but uh, uh, for now let's not do that. Uh, Yes, I know they, they are un unhappy. Truce expired. A oh, truce with Lithuania. Why would we have a truce with Lithuania? I'm pretty sure we were in that war. We are down to. Oh, look at that. Ottomans are just gobbled up someone. And Iberian wedding. Oh! What? Wow! When that happens, wow! Yeah, so it seems like right now. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. I, I will have to. I, I haven't fixed my uh, uh, log for important uh, diplomatic information. I will have to. That later, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Half of the bloody Iberia to, to, to England, actually. Wow. Uh, who have and uh, Ottomans gobbled the someone up? Rival announced. Uh, so Bohemia and rival Austria. Interesting. Uh, Ottomans rivaled Hungary. Uh, yeah, war is coming. Improvements to the production technology, so, well, I guess we can keep taking inflation and uh, mm, pay it off using those points. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, should we already? Uh, not yet, probably. Yeah, we are pretty good on money as it is. Alright, and trusted merchants, okay. And now we can uh, turn this into a, a state, a territory, and we can uh, core it uh, till the end now. Uh, ugh, expensive as hell. But uh, we do need this, those cores. Uh, now I, I really think that we should have just uh, gave it to, to Mazovia and used up our diplomatic power, but uh, might as well. Uh, Alright, we still haven't advanced in uh, diplomatic tech, so maybe it's best. Uh, let's see if uh, we can... Okay, so we can spend now spend uh, 
power, uh, diplomatic power to accept Prussian culture. We probably need to since there is a lot of Prussian culture in what we will about, uh, we will uh, be conquering. Uh, not just yet though, I think. We'll need, to, we need that next, next level. Uh, that being said, uh, let's take a look at our trade now. Uh, Teutons uh, still control the most of it, then Sweden we have barely scratched the surface, but uh, we'll get there. I would like to conquer Riga too, since well, estuary and such. Um, what is here? So we have most of trade power here, and I don't think we, uh, for now, I think we actually want to keep uh, collecting here. Uh, we are in three point something, and here, how much money is it? Uh, that's definitely not, uh, it's only five points, and we will never get enough to, uh, and to, to pull through out of it. So we'll stick with Krakow for the time being. I believe we uh, we should be getting some uh, uh, power upstream. Yeah, transfer. Yeah. Okay. So no no changes here. Mm. All right. We still can't make a marketplace. Uh, I prefer another one here. Alright, so uh, before we finish this episode, let's uh, check back on our Renaissance. How is it going? Uh, well, it hasn't spread at all yet, but I'm pretty sure it's almost there in Rome. It will be in... Uh, well, next year, basically. Uh, going strong all around here. So it, it will take a while for it to, to, uh, to actually reach, reach us. I don't think Renaissance has... Uh, or maybe... Italian capital. Oh, provinces in Frandos, Tuscany, of Venetia area. Okay, so, uh, all right. So basically, they have bonuses, but somehow uh, uh, Napoli got got the first. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So uh, Venice should uh, get it faster than the uh, than spread from here, and then it should spread through. Uh, through Austria and Hungary to us. It would be better if it's pre uh, if we were uh, friends with Hungary because that would uh, we would have gotten the the bonus uh, for it. But for now, we it's slowly spreading on its own due to our uh, high development, and uh, that's it. All right, so uh, I'm going to make a cut here, and uh, we are. I'll be back in a bit. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying the series. Please leave your comments, uh, whether are they questions, suggestions, uh, uh, complaints, or indeed praise. So <laughs> uh, see you next time.